Hello friends, this video on electric current and its effects part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 6. When the current is switched on through a wire, a compass needle kept nearby gets deflected from its north-south position. Explain. Now, this is all about the magnetic effect of current. So, you have current passing through this wire. When you put the compass needle near it, the deflection happens because a magnetic field is created by the current flowing through the conductor. Now, this needle is nothing but a tiny magnet itself. Now, when a magnetic field is created, the magnet will get deflected. The magnet will feel the attraction. So, as a result, it deflects. So, the current flowing through the conductor creates magnetic field. Compass needle under the magnetic field shows deflection. Why it shows deflection? Because the needle itself is a tiny magnet. Question number seven. Will the compass needle show deflection when the switch in the circuit shown by the figure is closed? So you see the switch is closed. That means the switch is off. So the circuit is basically open. Now when the circuit is open, so this is open circuit. So in open circuit, there will be no current flowing through it. Now, if there is no current flowing, obviously there will be no magnetic field produced. And when there is no magnetic field produced, there will be no deflection in the compass needle. So no deflection would be seen because first of all, there is no cell to generate current in the circuit. So if you look at it, right now the circuit is open. So even if you switch it on, so do you see a cell in the circuit, there is no cell at all. So there is nobody to generate electricity. So in both the scenarios, there will be no current flow. First scenario, a cell is there, but the switch is open. Second scenario, the switch is closed, but there is no cell in the circuit. So in both the cases, there would be no current flowing through the circuit. Therefore, no magnetic field will be produced. Hence, no deflection in the compass needle. Question number eight, fill in the blanks. Longer line in the symbol for a cell represents its, this is the symbol for a cell. So the longer terminal is always the positive terminal. The combination of two or more cells is called a battery. So when we need more electric current to be generated, we combine multiple cells to form a battery. When current is switched on in a room heater, it dash. So in a room heater, we have the heating element. So whenever we switch on the current, the current produces heat. As a result, what happens? Heat is released. So it produces heat. The safety device based on the heating effect of electric current is called a fuse is one such safety device. How? Why is it a safety device? Because it prevents the damage of various electrical devices from excessive flow of current. So whenever it sees a faulty condition in the circuit, it stops or prevents the excessive flow of current. Question number nine. Mark T if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. To make a battery of two cells, the negative terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the other cell. This is absolutely false because as I have been telling that it is always important that the negative terminal of one cell should be connected to the positive terminal of the next cell. When the electric current through the fuse exceeds a certain limit, the fuse wire melts and breaks. Yes, of course. And as the wire breaks, the circuit is not complete and therefore further current can't flow through the circuit. An electromagnet does not attract a piece of iron. This is again false because electromagnet, at the moment electricity passes through the electromagnet, it produces magnetic field and iron piece will be attracted by the magnetic field. So electromagnet also behaves like a magnet and therefore it attracts a piece of iron. An electric bell has an electromagnet. Yes, of course, an electromagnet plays the most crucial role inside an electric bell. Question number 10. Do you think an electromagnet can be used for separating plastic bags from a garbage heap? 
Not really, because electromagnet is capable of attracting only magnetic materials. Now, plastic is not magnetic in nature. Plastic doesn't get attracted when a magnet is placed near it. So, electromagnet would be useful only for separating ferromagnetic materials like iron. So, it is not going to help in case of plastic materials because it is not a magnetic material. Question number 11. An electrician is carrying out some repairs in your house. He wants to replace a fuse by a piece of wire. Would you agree? Give reasons for your response. So, replacing a fuse by a wire. Do you understand the meaning of this? Fuse is something which has a special wire which is made up of a metal which has considerably low melting point so that whenever there is too much of current it immediately melts and it can prevent the entire circuit from high amount of current. So that's the purpose of fuse and that is why fuse is a safety device. Now instead of fuse is if we are using a normal wire what will happen? A normal wire would not serve the purpose because a normal wire might have a very high melting point. So it will not melt even when a very high amount of current is passing through the circuit. So it will not act as a safety device. So therefore it is not at all advisable to replace a fuse by a wire. So obviously not. Fuse is a safety device. Fuse prevents damage due to excessive current flow which cannot be done by the wire. Because mostly the normal wires which are used uh, in the electric circuits, they have very high melting point. But while choosing the wire in a fuse, the fuse filament basically, it is taken care that it has a considerably low melting point so that it melts and breaks during excess current. So we can say that fuse filament, that is the wire inside the fuse, has considerably or comparatively low melting point and that is the property because of which fuse is important. Most of the normal wires have high melting points therefore they can't substitute fuses. Question number 12. In the circuit shown in the figure, would any of the bulb glow when the switch is in the off position? Now when the switch is off, what happens? The circuit is actually open. The circuit is not complete. So obviously none of the bulb would glow. So none of the and either none of A, B, C would glow. What will be the order in which? Okay, so none would glow. What will be the order in which the bulbs A, B, and C would glow? when the switch is moved to the on position. Now the moment we make switch it on, what happens? Current flows through the entire circuit. Now when current flows through the entire circuit, all the bulbs will be on simultaneously. So all the bulbs would glow simultaneously. Right? Okay, so with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on electric current and its effects would have helped you. Now these are just the basics. As you move ahead with to your higher classes, you will learn more and more detail about the electric circuits. You will learn about many more uh, electric components. You learn about resistors, capacitors and a lot of uh, more interesting things. So please uh, have a good idea on the basics. Try to observe things around you. Try to understand the examples uh, very well. And I hope that this lesson on electric current and its effects would have helped you. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.